In this video, I show you how I made this Harry Potter inspired mug with a chemically etched three broomsticks design. What? No, I mean, I didn't make the mug. I bought the mug. I just etched, okay. So first, go over the materials we're gonna use to make this project. The first is Armor Etch Glass Etching Cream. I chose this brand just because it was the first thing that came up when I searched for this. Uh, one thing to know about this stuff is it is uh, dangerous. Danger causes severe burns, which may not be immediately painful or visible, may be fatal or cause permanent damage to skin, eyes, or respiratory tract, refer to back panel. So definitely when using this, wear gloves, wear goggles, work in a well-ventilated area, and 100% keep it out of reach of children and pets. Okay, the next thing is we need some kind of resist for the etchant, and that's a stencil or a mask that will block the parts that you don't want etched. I'm using this, um, kind of see it on there. I'm using this, this is a adhesive vinyl that I cut on a Cricut. Okay, then obviously we need the glass. This is an Irish coffee mug from Crate and Barrel. I like this one because it has straight side to straight up and down. A lot of them, they flare out at the top. And since I need to apply the, the resist, the mask to the glass, it's nice that this only curves in one plane and not multiple so that there's kind of a, a, a place we can actually apply the mask. That would be really difficult, if not impossible, especially with vinyl to do on a, on a round glass that also flares at the top. So that works. And then something to apply the, the armor etch to the glass using the popsicle sticks and Q-tips and definitely goggles, gloves to protect yourself from the, the etching. Now, one of the downsides of using the vinyl is So, you know. Okay, so that one minute that you just saw was an hour of real minutes. A couple things I want to say about this. I'm using the, the uh, permanent adhesive vinyl for this. It won't obviously be permanent on the glass, but the reason I'm using that is because I have to hold on to all these little, these little pieces inside the letters, and they have to be able to stick to the glass strong enough that when I am wiping the, the etchant over the vinyl that they won't come off. So that's why I'm using the permanent adhesive vinyl. And another thing I wanted to say about this is that you, you want to take any kind of uh, layout advantage that you can when you're doing a project like this. And so these mugs have uh, a seam, like a, a really obvious seam. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Yeah, see the seam there? Because they're made in a two-part mold that separates in order to have this handle be on here like this. And so I sized the rectangle on, on this so that if I line up the left side at the seam and I line up the top near the top edge where it starts being flat and go this way with the, with the stencil or the, the mask, that, that logo design will fall in kind of centered in this area and the right end of the mask will miss the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, just make sure everything's gonna go smoothly, and then I'll do the other six, the other five. There's six all together, so the other five.
All right, now that I have that uh, mask on there, make sure that there's, like, there's a couple bubbles in there, but that's not a big deal as long as they don't come into the edges of any of the, the design here. So make sure all the edges are down nice and tight so this etchant doesn't bleed underneath. And then I'm also going to use some masking tape to cover outside of that because when I, I'm going to rinse this off and I want to make sure that the etching doesn't run around the inside or wash over here. Okay, now for the etching, got my gloves on, got my goggles on. This is stir before using, so I did that. And now I'm just going to sort of scoop it on here with this stick. Doesn't have to be real thick. And I'm going to leave this on here for 10 minutes. And occasionally I'm going to move it around because there's these crystals in here that um, supposedly the internet says gets in the way of, of the etching. So pretty much everything I've seen about this recommends moving the etching around periodically while it's etching to make sure there's no spots that have a, a big hunk sitting on it and don't get etched. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on there for 10 minutes and I'm going to use one of these things to occasionally just push this stuff around to make sure my whole design gets good coverage and gets a good etch. And so after 10 minutes, I'll rinse it off and I'll show you the results. And there we have it, the final result turned out really nice. So just five more to go. Okay, I got all six done here. Uh, a couple of things I want to say before I close out the video. The first one is that when you're using the, the etching cream, it's important to move the etchant around during the etch, so every minute or so just kind of go over everything with a with a little brush or I was using the the cotton swabs to just to make sure that you're getting full coverage and there's and there's uh, there's good etching at at every spot and also to make sure that you're getting to the edges of your of your mask especially with a vinyl where you have a little bit of dimension there and I'll show you on a couple of these you can see maybe you can see I don't know if you can tell, but the, the, bottom, the bottom right of the O in Hogsmeade right there, uh, I guess the etch it didn't quite get into the, into the it's a, it was a very narrow spot in the vinyl. And so the etch it didn't quite get in, in there. So there's, there's another one up there on that O. So I had a couple things like that. Another thing that happened with the vinyl that I was suggested might happen when I was talking about using the permanent adhesive vinyl is that on this one, I lost a couple of those little pieces. See the G there? There's, there's, no, there's no hole in the G and then this E right there because those little pieces came off when I was uh, spreading on the etchant. No big deal, they still look great. But that's something to be aware of. I think if I was gonna do another project like this, I'd probably try to find something other than the vinyl to use as a mask, especially if I'm gonna do this many. The vinyl was obviously weeding it, took me an hour, then getting it off of the all the, all the, taking all the little pieces out of all the letters, kind of a pain as well. And, and I did have the problem where, you know, th those narrow spots, those narrow spots, sometimes the etching didn't get in there. So, like I said, next time I'm doing a project like this, I might look for something other than the adhesive vinyl to use as the, as the resist. You can find links to all the, the, the materials and tools I used for this on my website. There's a link to that post in the video description. And uh, a cool thing about this particular video is that it's circular. In this video, I show you how I made this Harry Potter inspired mug with a chemically etched three broomsticks design. What? No, I mean, I didn't make the mug. I bought the mug. I just etched, okay.